What's up guys? Yes, I'm gonna be vlogging more. So that means y'all are gonna get to see more day-to-day -day lifestyle uh, events of what's going on. I'm gonna be videoing everything. Me and dad are heading up north to go get him a pellet smoker. That's right. Yesterday was Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Good thing about us, we don't buy each other gifts. Uh, he doesn't really get me nothing. I don't get him nothing. Uh, say I love you every now and then. That's just how we roll. But uh, he wants to go get a smoker, so he came up with an idea. So I'm gonna ride along with him. We're gonna take the money. We're gonna roll up there. We're gonna grab us a smoker. He says big enough to be able to put inside the trailer for when we come to these big races, and he's able to smoke for us at the racetrack. Slink, did you just drive from your house up to the front yard? You don't want to walk? Well, guys, my dad got a new pellet smoker. <clears throat> what kind is it? YS uh, 640 comp, uh, comp cart. It's like the competition bill. So it works off electricity. All right, guys. So dad got a new pellet smoker. He's out in the back right now. He's watching some videos on YouTube. Got everything going on. Trying to figure out exactly what he's got to do to get it working. Uh, he will be putting a big brisket on there. We will go back there later on and see what he's got going on updating it. While that's being said, we're out here in the pole barn right now because my stuff did just show up. If y'all seen in previous videos, I was looking to build a push cart to be able to haul all the luggage, everything that we put upstairs, either in front or behind the car. Well, calculate it all up to be able to get all the stuff, the time and everything in it, to be able to weld it all up and everything. I went ahead and bought two push carts off of the internet. They just got here, cost me about $550. Uh, they just got here. What we're gonna do is, is me, dad and Art, Brian, we're gonna try to build something together to be able to collab these two carts together to have one big cart. Uh, what I wanna say is that they're two foot by five foot. So really they will be four foot by five foot, but I'm not 100% sure. We're gonna go ahead and bust these boxes open. We're gonna figure it out. All right guys, so we got the first one put together. I did break a tape measure out. It is five foot long and 30 inches wide. We're gonna put the other one together right now as well. And then we gotta figure out what we gotta do to be able to mount both of them together. So we could have five foot long, 30 inches, 30 inches at 60 inches. So it could be five foot wide as well. So basically it's gonna be a five by five. Me and dad were thinking about extending this thing out if need be. We're gonna have the tents on it. We're gonna have some merchandise on it. Just some little stuff on there because we're tired of carrying in and out of the trailer every time we're at the racetrack and when we load up, put it in there. We can just put everything on these carts right here and just roll it into the back of the trailer or into the front of the trailer. It's gonna make things 10 times easier for when we're at the racetrack. But uh, it's coming along nice and smoothly. Let's get the other one thrown together. And then the hard part is I gotta figure out how I'm gonna put both of them together. All right, boys, so as you can see, we got both of them side by side now, five foot wide, five foot long. Now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do to be able to get them put together so we're able to roll them in and out of the trailer at the same time. What I think I'm gonna do is, is we're, me and dad were talking, we're gonna clean this weld up right here, clean the paint off, and we're gonna weld us a spot right here, a little bead, and a little bead at the, uh, the bottom. Might possibly do something in the middle, not sure. I think these two welds right there will hold that together perfectly fine. You'll be able to get two guys or one guy over on this side and be able to push it and do whatever you want to do with it. Just makes it wider, just makes it easier. We're able to put the stuff on, get it up in the trailer. All right, boys, quick little update. So you know we got races going on next month, July. So the first race of the month will be July 4th. We'll be heading down to Steele, Alabama with Mike Starvinas' car. The 69 Camaro will be running the 4A4 shootout there. Then we go to Piedmont, North Carolina, July 10th with the Street Outlaw No Prep King Season 4 car. Land Stafford, Carolina, no time. They are putting on their first no prep race ever. $20,000 to win. So we're hopefully to keep getting tested, keep getting ready so we're able to go out there and bust them boys and girls in the mouth. We will leave July 10th and 11th from Piedmont, North Carolina. July 21st to 22nd, we will be putting Alcatraz back together. That's right, boys. Getting her suited back up. She will be going over to Orlando, Florida so she can play in the Radio vs. the World Pro 275 race. Last race, we didn't do too good. We couldn't get it to fire up. We found the issue. We went to coil on plug, so we'll have everything ready. Once we run that race, we have five days to get ready to, for the first race of the season four Street Outlaw No Prep King. 
we will be taking this motor and transmission converter out of this car. That motor will be going inside the no prep car. That motor will be going inside the shop so it can get freshened up. That transmission will be going inside the trailer so we can have a fresh transmission, spare transmission, everything we need whenever we go to our first race. Because from that point forward, we will be full tilt, 100% street outlaw, no prep king season four. There's gonna be a lot of races. There's gonna be a lot of time out of town. A lot of y'all have been asking me, a lot of y'all been emailing me. We're going to try to hit every race we can, boys. I don't know exactly which ones I'm going to be able to go to and all that. I'm still trying to get sponsorships in. I'm still trying to get everything situated so I'm able to get ready for this season. I'm starting to run out of time, but it's all right. We're going to try to make it work. So I'm going to try to hit every race possible. We'll have merchandise on the website. We'll have merchandise inside the trailer so y'all can pick it up at the racetrack. Y'all get ready. Y'all get on board with Swan Gang. And let's go out there and bust these boys and girls in the mouth. And let's have us a good season. Hopefully we can win us a championship. Yes, that's right. I got to pull this motor out of this car after the race and put it inside this car. They're the same motors. Just this motor is our little beat up motor as in we like to uh, make multiple passes on it and uh, try to get everything situated, get it figured out that motor is brand new minus the two hits i put on it over in orlando i'll probably put five or six more hits on it whenever we go back to race again but this motor is going to have probably 15 20 runs it's going to be a little wore out so we'll go ahead and freshen it up and have us a fresh spare bullet sitting inside the trailer in case we do have any issues at our no prep events but we'll have everything out of this car this car will come back in here get put up on jacks and it'll sit until we probably have some free time also new parachute handle Got this one inside this car already. I ordered the same exact one we'll be putting inside the no prep car. It's just a lot bigger handle. We also put a chute button inside the car right here. So whenever I'm driving down the track, I'm able to push the chute off the steering wheel or I can hit my oh shit button, which is over here. That's just another parachute button. So we're heading on over to Orlando Speed World. They have a grudge event going on. We're just gonna go over there and test. Hopefully we can get this thing figured out. The last place we were at was middle Georgia. We moved out about a hundred foot. Everything was good. Damn, what happened to my wheel? Oh, something got on it. I thought it was scratched. Uh, 100 foot and the strut decided they wanted to have a strut to leak it and leave the body of the car. It messed some things up, but we got everything fixed. As you can see, it bent the, the body a little bit, smashed up the pipe, but we'll go ahead and stick a screwdriver in there and try to bend that back out. It's still good, it's gonna buff out. But hopefully, cross our fingers, cross your feet. We have a good outing. We almost made it out that last time. We're getting closer to the finish line, boys. Also, don't forget to go get your merch. You get over there at www.swangang.com. We're going to have new shirts on the website here soon. We also got a special July drop, which is going to be shirts, hats. Head on over there. You can pick you up a woman tank top. You know you want your woman to fly one of the Swan Gang colors. So head on over there. Get you tank top. Boys, y'all can get y'all's merchandise as well. I got a lot of new things coming. Uh, hats, uh, more shirts more designs, stickers, everything. Just trying to keep growing as a whole, but I can't do it without y'all. So I want to thank each and every one of y'all that supports these vlogs, that goes ahead and keeps on watching our dumbness over here. And uh, I hope to see every single one of y'all at the racetrack one of these days. I'll see y'all later.